Interactive videos engage the learner through choice. This video lesson plan can be used as a template to create a series of videos with your own goals in mind. As an example, a video lesson plan will be shown as an example or a template that can be used to create and link a series of videos that can be created and uploaded to YouTube. We begin any journey with a map of where we are going and how we'll get there. The map shown here, or lesson plan, shows how the created videos will be linked. For this example, we will create 15 short videos, allowing the learner to choose which plan or path fits their particular situation. For example, in the first title video at the top, an introduction to substitute teaching is given. Then the learner is asked to choose whether they are new, a new substitute teacher or a classroom teacher learning about the program. At the end of the video, the learner will choose which video or path to take next. You will be shown how to do that at the end of this introductory video. Those who are learning how to be substitute teachers take their learning path, while regular classroom teachers learn how to prepare for their substitute teachers. At the end of their videos, they are given the choice of learning about planned or unplanned activities. Planned activities are lesson plans as well as regularly scheduled events. Teachers can also learn how to prepare a sub or a substitute folder that has both scheduled lesson plans as well as unscheduled events, such as evacuations, lockdowns, shelter in place, other emergencies like that, things that come up. At the same time, new substitute teachers are being trained on how to follow lesson plans, as well as learning about emergency issues prepared for them by their classroom teacher and entered into the subfolder. At the close of the video, the learner will be given a choice of watching four videos on safety, class management, feedback, and contact information. Of course, you can adapt those to your needs, whatever they might be. The key to making these, video inter these videos interactive comes when you upload your videos to YouTube. Before doing so, re leave or record an additional 20 seconds of blank space at the end of your video. Here's why. To give your learners a choice, you will choose the option. This is after you have uploaded to YouTube. You will, uh, as you are uploading this, you'll see this screen. You will choose the option to add an end screen. This is the key. <clears throat> choose the option showing two videos to choose from that you have already created. You can add end screens later if you choose. Notice the blue video says best for viewer. We want to change that to a specific video you have already created. Highlight the blue video, turn it blue, and then choose Choose specific video. Then choose which of your created videos in your channel or the ones you've uploaded you want to make as a choice for your learner. Do the same for both videos. You can add a third or fourth choice according to your needs, such as for starting over at the beginning of the training, 
Be sure to save your work at the end. The end screen will look something like this with the choices you provided for your learners. YouTube will put your choices on the last blank 20 seconds of your video that you provided. If you want to put something creative on your last 20 seconds, be sure to leave room for the selected choices or videos your learners will be going to. <clears throat> We'll now end this video by reminding you that in the upcoming end screen, select with your mouse the learning path you want to take. And remember, it's a great day to be a Bobcat. I'm Scott for Madison School District. Bye now.